put straight. Went to Charlotte for the weekend. Going to give a small review. We stayed at the Microtel in North Lake, and that was the worst hotel ever. We paid over $176 for a room that had holes, as you can see, in the bed cover, and it had patches in the sheets. Would not stay there again if you paid me. The staff was rude, the hotel was not clean, and they just don't care. So to recoup from that, we had to go to Ikea. Yep, Ikea. Four hours in Ikea. It was worth it. Got some cool little gadgets, a bag holder, and of course some plugs. Can't go without plugs. We did eat some great food though. Tried the Swedish meatballs and the soda. That was strange. But overall, a very good trip to Ikea. Definitely furnish our home from Ikea. We then visited a small little diner called Midnight Diner. Great little spot. Great price on food. Tried the wings and the club sandwich and Bubba's breakfast. For the overall price and the quality of the food, if I ever went back to Charlotte, would definitely visit there again. We then made our way down to downtown Charlotte, seen some cool statues, and in the alleyway there was a cool piece of art that I couldn't leave out. I'm not sure who the artist is, but it's always great to find little nooks and crannies that have pieces of arts and mysteries. Kind of made up for the road traffic and construction going on through Charlotte. Hated traveling through Charlotte. They really need to finish that construction. Needed to make a bathroom break and wasn't sure where to stop, so we made it into Wells Fargo Museum. This is actually a free museum. It was quite interesting. There was a lot of hands-on things. The big wagon you could actually stand in front of and have your picture made, and they would email that to you. A lot of interactive places that you could learn the history of Wells Fargo. The next day, we went into Red Eye Diner for breakfast. It was in a cool little plaza that had lots of shops. That's where we went in and seen Rocket Fizz and got the sodas for Joe to try on his show. Uh, overall, food was excellent. The service was amazing. We did have a bit of a wait, about a 20 minute wait. So if you want to visit, I would definitely put your name on the list before you get there. After breakfast and after we visited Rocket Fizz, we made our way to the Discovery Science Center, spent some time there. I did see the octopus and he was being very active that day and that was amazing to see. They have their bug exhibit going on right now, which is more for children. It makes them feel like they're small and these bugs are big, but it was pretty cool to see. Very child-based, the Science Discovery Center is. Now, the main thing in Charlotte is these scooters. There is Lime S, Bird, and Spin. You have to download an app in order to start these scooters up. Most of them are a dollar to start, and Lime S and Spin was 17 cents a minute. Bird was 33 cents a minute. Now, the problem with these scooters is that they are just left anywhere on the sidewalk so you can walk up to them and try to start it up however a lot of them will say damaged or somebody before you used it and didn't properly sign out so they're not using the scooter but they're still paying for it and later in the evening they start winding down about 9 p.m. and you can't use them they lock them down because they are going to come pick them up and charge them for the next day now on our last day it had started to rain a little bit and we got on one and it was very slick. We immediately stopped it because we felt that it was a hazard. In total we walked about three miles until we could find a scooter that we were able to use and I was a little upset because we traveled as a family and I didn't allow my daughter to have cell service so she wasn't able to start a scooter up because it's one scooter per app. So if I had a recommendation for these companies that they would make it family friendly or you know group friendly, not everybody has cell phones, at least allow you know one to two, three to four scooters per app instead of making everybody try a different app for a different company. So if all three of us wanted to ride, I would have had to have walked around and got one from Lime S, Bird, and 
spin, which we did. We tried that. Very, very hard to do because they're so spread out through the city. Like I said, on average, we walked about three miles until we found one that we could play with, and we done it just for the experience. It was fun, um, very safe. I didn't feel, you know, like I was in any, any type of danger because I had never ridden anything like this, but I was able to keep my balance and ride it safely. So overall, that's our weekend review for Charlotte. Uh, not pressing to go back. Again, the road construction was a little bit of a de detour for us. But overall, we were able to find things to keep us entertained. Um, on average, we spent about $300 for the weekend. If we ever go back, I will find a different hotel. And DD over and out.